This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to help you on your business journey. Hi everyone. So today I am currently, as you can see, getting ready. I'm getting ready to host and have dinner with the O double G. Whoa, 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 whoa. Snoop Doggity Dog is having dinner with me. Wow. Oh my god. So exciting. I barely ever get ready on camera, but we're making some life changes to my videos because I feel like it's a good visual. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But basically, I'm gonna get ready. You know, your girl gets ready. I feel like I never show me getting ready, but at the same time, it is an important process of a vlog, I guess. I'll show you what I did in my face, make it look all snatched. Well, let's get into the makeup, I guess. So I'm gonna start with my brows. I literally always start with my brows. I used to start with my face, and then I used to do my brows, and it just looked terrible. But that was like seven years ago now. But anyway, when I fill in my brows, I literally do like a little smidge in the patches and then I do a line underneath that's very very light and that's literally all I do for my brows let's talk about dinner tonight so I don't know it just happened I guess so Snoop Dogg is coming over and I am hosting a dinner with him which is gonna be super exciting I've never actually met Snoop Dogg before so like super excited he has a cookbook by the way he does have a cookbook which i had no idea about i guess we share like a similar interest in cooking he's in a lot of good movies too so like he's got his acting career like on point as well which is really good he's just a jack of all trades honestly now i'm just carving out my brows all right let's talk about the famous people i have met honestly i haven't met that many famous people which is really sad because i live in melbourne and rarely anyone like literally nobody comes to melbourne no one comes to australia and when they do come they probably go to sydney we're just so neglected <laughs> literally the only famous person that i can think of that i actually properly met was probably tiger i met tiger back in i think 2015 or 2016 at a meet and greet at culture kings and we literally were rushed in and out of the freaking shop got a quick photo the photo turned out disgusting i looked at it was this massive line and you didn't have to buy tickets or anything it was just first and best dress and i remember there was so many other people waiting behind me and he ended up running off and he drove off in this orange or yellow i can't remember what car it was and everyone was chasing after the car they're like what the hell now i am going to do the eyeshadow i'm not the best at eyeshadow but i'm gonna try something different a bit spontaneous i am just gonna put some concealer on my lids Also, Melbourne is currently in winter time right now and I am like dying to go to the snow. I wanna to go to the snow so bad. In Melbourne, the snow is like not too far away, but we don't get it as good as Canberra. Canberra gets it really good. Okay, I'm just gonna go in this color, which is tempera. But yeah, I really wanna to go to the snow before winter finishes because I've only ever been once in my whole 19 years of living and it was so much freaking fun. So if you guys haven't been to the snow before i would highly suggest going to the snow unlike america we don't get snow everywhere we have to go up to the mountains to experience snow which is unfortunate but at the same time i feel like it's a good thing because from what i've heard snow can get really 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 full on and some days you can't even move out of your driveway from what i've heard i'm not too sure but that's what i've heard maybe i'll go in with this one it's burnt orange and just give it a bit of depth i guess i've never stayed up at the snow the snow is really expensive to stay up at but it's just so funny how different countries have different things like snow to them is normal whereas in melbourne it's not really something you experience in winter i'm not a huge fan of winter i'm a massive fan of summer and i've literally been contemplating so bad moving to queensland i i'm obsessed like i just want to go get out of melbourne and just go to a warmer place i'm gonna go in with i don't even know what that is that one and i'm gonna try to do like a wing i might do this like a half on half off camera because i have no idea how to do these i've never done this before we'll see how we go okay i just did that one and i brought it in a bit i've never done that before and it actually doesn't look too bad mm. okay i'm gonna do the next side off camera 
Okay, so I just did both the liners. I don't know how I feel about this, but we'll see the end result. So I'm gonna go in and just put black all over my waterline. Okay, now that that is done, it looks like it's coming a bit more together, I feel. So I'm gonna stick on my lashes. I'll do that off camera and then, actually it kind of looks good. <laughs> I barely changed my makeup, so this is all new to me. I didn't even try prior, but I'm gonna put my lashes on off camera. I'm just gonna touch it up with a bit of mascara, so it blends in with the lashes. Okay, I'm gonna put my lashes on off camera, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like on camera. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the lashes on. It's, I feel like it's basic. I feel like everyone does this, but... I've never done it before and I am proud. So A for effort for me. I'm gonna do my face now. I'm gonna go with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and I'm literally just gonna pop that bad boy all over my freaking face if it wants to like come out. Oh yes, there we are. So I'm just gonna smudge that all over my face. Wow, who is she? Oh my god. Okay, so that is done. Now I'm just gonna go under with concealer and just blend that shit in again. Okay, so once that is all blended in, I don't know why that looks so glossy, but it's actually not. Anywho, I'm gonna go back in with that red color and I'm just gonna do my under eye, I guess. Like that. Okay, so now that that is all done, I put mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm gonna bronze my face, blush it, and then put lipstick and we're done. Okay, so this is the finished look. It is not my typical look. I feel like it looks okay-ish. But yeah, so I'm gonna go put my clothes on now. I hope you guys like this look. I'm gonna set up some dinner stuff and get ready. So excited. <laughs> anyway. I'll see you at the next scene. As I said earlier, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Now, some of you guys may be wondering what Squarespace is. And to answer that question, Squarespace is the one and only platform which you should use when starting out your new business or blog post. Squarespace is the only one platform that helps you start your business journey in the simplest way possible. Now, starting up a business can be difficult. So Squarespace has minimized as many difficulties as possible, which means Squarespace is super, super easy to use and has a variety of options for you to choose from when designing your own website. Now Squarespace also has a bunch of features which helps you understand how your business is growing. Whether you're a business in need of a booking system, an online magazine that wants to sell subscriptions or a musician ready to drop your latest track, Squarespace supports the way you wish to run your business. So for those of you who are ready to start your own business and earn some income at your own pace, Squarespace is the one and only way to go so make sure you head down to squarespace today okay so my makeup is now complete and before snoop dog comes i'm gonna go on a quick naturistic walk because it's good to get some exercise in during the day and a bit of fresh air so that's what i'm gonna do before he arrives still got some time but see you on my walk
get my makeup is done. My outfit is now on. And Snoop Duggity Dog is going to be here very, very soon. So I'm going to go set up the table now and get everything prepared. And hopefully he'll be here by the time I'm done. So see you downstairs. Hello everybody, so I am in the kitchen ready to whip up tonight's meal. Now, I did my research on Snoop Dogg and it turns out that he does prefer a plant-based diet according to Google and furthermore, he enjoys nutty things. So I went to the shops, got a whole darn bunch of nuts. He likes apples, peanuts, strawberries, sliced apples specifically. And for main course, we are going to have chicken and waffles. Now I have no idea how chicken and waffles works. Australians are just, you know, not as bougie as Americans, unfortunately. So I'm gonna do my little twist on chicken and waffles. Now this is savory, I presume. These are the waffles I got. Basically, we're just gonna make this look as bougie as we can. Wow, look at these bad boys. So I'm gonna stack the waffles like that. These are the buffalo chicken, they, they smell really good. Buffalo chicken wings, put a drumstick in there. Okay, that looks a bit bougie. Okay, now I've got some ranch sauce and I'm just gonna like drizzle that all over. Okay, that doesn't really look the best. We're gonna go in with a different sauce. We're just gonna like, you know, give it that. Oh, wow, stunning. I think we need another waffle, so can I see that? Wow, okay. Now to cover up the mess I made from before, Wow, gourmet. Look at that. <laughs> wow, chicken and waffles. Okay, so I got peanuts. I got three peanuts and I'm just gonna like place these nicely in the swirl. I feel like that looks very, look at that. That is so authentic, wow. So now I'm gonna go set up the table and present everything before it gets here and I'll show you guys the setup. Okay, so this is our dinner for tonight. So here are the munchies. We've got his favorite sliced apples, strawberries, pistachios, peanuts. Look at those freaking peanuts, waffles, and my famous buffalo fried chicken and waffles with a side of peanuts. But yeah, so I am expecting Mr. D-O-double-G to arrive very soon. And he's a Libra. Mr. Mr. Snoop Dogg is a Libra and I like my Libras. I think, as I said in my previous videos, I think Libras are very intelligent. So I'm sure our conversations are going to be very intellectual. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But I'm excited. Okay, so I am here with Snoop Dogg. And I'm going to pass the phone over to him to say hello before we start eating. And yeah, I'm just going to film throughout the night, I guess. It's a pleasure to be here with Snoop Dogg. So here we are. Okay, so here Snoop is Dogg. Snoop Dogg. I was extremely nervous and he is finally here and I am just over the moon. We're just gonna eat now and hopefully everything works on point. I have just finished my food and it was delicious. Like hit the nail on the head, beautiful. I really enjoyed my dinner tonight. It went perfectly planned, which I did not expect. I was very, very nervous. Here we have Snoop Dogg. He was amazing tonight. 
I could not have a better guest in my home. I'm so thankful. And he is more than welcome to come through to my home again. Love that. Love that for me. That is basically it. What a day. What a extravagant day. Literally. So extravagant. Amazing. Full on. I am now just going to eat the rest of these grapes because these grapes are so scrumdiddly umptious. So crispy. So I hope you guys liked my little dinner with Snoop Dogg tonight. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, which is at Siobhan underscore Awad. That is everything. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.